Hi guys, welcome to True School Sports. This is Pops from, uh, again, True School Sports. Uh, I was just driving. I was actually at the Warriors gym to find out uh, where Tyson Fury, uh, other other fighters that Sugar Hill got there. But uh, unfortunately, you, you you hit, you you shoot, you hit a hit and you miss. And this time I miss. But I was on the highway. I so, said, you know, before I go home, let me pull over to the side of that road and let me get this off my chest. It's been on my chest for a long time. And, 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 and I got to say here, not only in the U.S., but also in the fucking U.K., okay, uh, the media has double fucking standards. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think it's right. I don't think whenever it, it, it's convenient for the media to put out something, um, it's okay. If it sells, it's okay. But if it doesn't sell, go fuck yourself. I don't believe in that. I believe if, if you're going to say something about somebody, if you're going to write something about somebody, you need to go ahead and do it because you know his background he or she or whatever story it is and you follow it through and, and you respect what he or she or whatever the case may be the, the story may be you respect that person for whatever it is and then what I'm talking about is and you all motherfuckers know who I'm talking about his name is fucking Josh Taylor you get that right Taylor Taylor is a fucking name that never runs away from nobody they don't scare nobody they're here to do what they gotta do and they're gonna fucking never run around for no, for no kind of challenge okay and I'm kind of pissed off and I'm going yes I'm going on the fucking rant because I'm kind of pissed off with the fucking UK, UK fucking media. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's BT, fucking Sky Sports, fucking uh, IFL. I don't give MKT, who the fucking managing company. I don't give a fuck rats out of this, okay? Josh Taylor just beat the fuck out of uh, a, a, a great Mexican fighter that was real good, that was respected throughout California. You know who I'm talking about, Jose Ramirez. And, and, and he came across the fucking pond. He came across the pond, he had to deal with the fucking referees, had to deal with all the crazy Mexican fans, and and, and he came out here, and he did what he also did in the fucking uh, uh, World Boxing uh, boxing Series. He kicked some fucking ass, and he did what he's supposed to do, because that's what Taylor's name stands for. We kick fucking ass, we take names, and we beat ass. And he came in here, and he showed the Mexican people that, yeah, you got a good, respectable fighter Ramirez, nothing against him, but you're not gonna fuck for me. That's right, I'm from fucking Scotland, I'm the Scottish motherfucker, and, and, and I'm the motherfucker that came out here that nobody thought I could beat this guy right here, and I did it. I did it because I had the balls to come out across, across the pond against my odds and do what I had to do. I knocked Ramirez down twice. I knocked the fuck out of Jose Ramirez fucking twice. Not once, fucking twice, okay? He came in there, he showed you guys what he was all about. Nothing against uh, disrespect from Mexican fact. I'm just trying to tell you what the deal is. I'm not mad at the, at the U.S. media, but I'm fucking mad at the U.K. media. You know why? Because you won't put no fucking reference to this guy right here. You won't give him no respect. You didn't even fucking broadcast his fight uh, on, on, on live TV, on pay-per-view, whether it was Sky Sports, or whether it was fucking uh, BET Sports, or whatever the case may be, the U.K. media. Nobody gave this guy some respect. And this is one of the biggest fights in, in, in U.K., yeah, UK, Scotland, Scotland's part of the UK, so yeah, UK history, and you got one of the top premier fighters in fucking boxing, in fucking boxing, and you guys couldn't even go ahead and put him down, I'm talking about the zone, fuck Eddie Herons, I don't know if he did it, he couldn't, they say they're supposed to be global, and all this other shit, him too, BAT, nobody gave this guy respect, but let me ask you a question, there was fucking Tyson Fury, and fucking Wilder or Tyson Fury on Josh on, on, on Josh on Anthony Joshua's balls you all were covering it 24-7 but you can't put literacy me literacy and respect to fucking Josh Taylor and I'm really pissed off about that because you, you not only took uh, Taylor had to come here with no fucking UK fans just like Billy Saunders a couple weeks ago and he had no he, had, he didn't have his family here to celebrate the victory and, and he had to come here and fucking do what he had to do. Huh? And then to top it off, the freaking media, the media, the UK fucking double standard media couldn't even take the time and say, you know what? This is a big fight. Let me give it to the UK people. No, he's not a British fighter. He's from Scotland, but Scotland belongs to the UK. Let me go ahead and broadcast because this is one of the biggest fights in history that you're ever going to see. Him kicking the fucking Mexican's ass all over the place like it was white on rice. And you guys didn't even want to, want to do that. The media didn't even want to do that. They didn't want to acknowledge this guy. But if it was Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King, no disrespect to Tyson Fury, you would have had it fucking 24 7 on Tyson Fury, right? You would have it all over him, right? For Anthony Joshua, all over him, right? 
but because this man was not from the fucking from Scotland or whatever the case may be, or he was a, a, a whatever you guys feel he wasn't gonna sell tickets or whatever, you don't. But then you turn around and you want to have a fucking fight with a fucking Mayweather. No disrespect to Mayweather, because the TV he sells and everything with fucking Jake Paul, fucking soap opera fight, a fucking soap opera fight. You guys value that more important than fucking Josh Taylor, who came out here and fucking showed the people in the United States. That he was no joke. And Cam Buchanan better be proud of this motherfucker. Thank you, Cam Buchanan, for, for, for still having the motivation to come here and be champion like you see from the beginning. Yeah, that's the other uh, Scottish champion that did what he was supposed to do in boxing. But I'm very ashamed. I'm very ashamed to BET. I'm very ashamed to the uh, uh, Sky Sports Network who fucking did all these lick balls and sick kiss ass and whoever they want to kiss ass. And thank God the fucking Eddie Hearns got away from them too. So who are you asking to kiss now? But you didn't give no respect to Josh Taylor. And that pisses me off because you took a great fight away from the UK boxing fans that could have deserved to watch it. And yes, they were happy. They threw a party for him. All the UK fans, all the Scottish fans, they were happy for Josh Taylor. But I think it was very disrespectful on Skyport, Sky Sports and BET to do what they did. I hope, I hope the next time Josh Taylor fucking fights again. I just hope that you guys go ahead and, and have a little bit of respect for Josh Taylor. What he's done, what he's accomplished. He won't fucking bully Joe Saunders ass for fucking the whole week when he was there. And he didn't do shit. He fucking quit on, on, on the corner. Or he had, he had a serious injury or whatever. Prayers to him. No disrespect to him. But I'm getting the point is you were on his jock all, all week. But you couldn't give no legitimacy, me. No, no legitimacy. Me. Uh, I can say legitimacy me or, or respect to Josh Taylor. And that's what's pissing me off. Because this guy went to the World Boxing World Series, Clean House. Clean House is one of my favorite boxes. Yeah, one of my favorite boxes. We just pro us, they still one of my favorite boxes. Kicked his ass over the place too. He took names and he's taking names and he's gonna, and he's gonna keep taking fucking names. And he's gonna fucking sell seats. So I'm gonna tell you one more time, UK fucking media. Give the fans what they deserve, the UK fans, the Scottish fans what they deserve. They fucking deserve to watch this, this great guy. Uh, it's coming to greatness, and you guys took that away from them. Yeah, you had him on fucking Fight TV. Fuck you in Fight TV. You guys are supposed to be the big media outlets out there. Why don't you guys stop being so selfish about money and, and give respect to a boxer that really has humbled himself and worked his ass off for 15 years to get where he's at. He has the undisputed 140 pound fucking champion. You got it, motherfucking Josh Taylor. That's right, the tornado, the fucking tornado that was gonna, gonna keep cleaning the house. He's gonna be taking names and he's gonna go to 147 and do the same thing. And I just hope Eddie Hearns, the zone. I know you, you're branding out whatever. You're doing your own thing. You got away from us, Sky Sports. I hope that you somehow get some balls and, and, and follow this guy and you'll see how your view is going to get. I hope fucking Sky Sports do the same thing and I hope BT Sports or what the fuck BT Sports do the same thing. Um, respect to Taylor. Um, fight to me, put you out there, but that wasn't enough for me. I just, I'm just very adamant, very upset at the fact that you didn't get the respect you deserve. And not because you have my last name. Because you did it all by yourself, Josh Taylor. You went to the uh, World Boxing Series. You cleaned house over there. You went and fought one of my favorite fighters. You cleaned house over there. You came over here to fucking uh, Las Vegas and cleaned house with a Mexican fighter. It's supposed to be real good. No disrespect to Ramirez. He was good. Don't get me wrong. He stood up. He did what he had to do. But he ain't no Josh Taylor. But the media didn't want to, didn't want to dick right Josh Taylor. But I guarantee and I'll say it again. If it was Gypsy King, Fury, if it was fucking Anthony Joshua, you'd be on there. Shame to all the UK media who did not put this fight in life for the fans. I'm gonna leave with that. God bless everybody. I'm just fucking pissed off. I'm very adamant at the fact that they didn't give respect to this man who was undisputed again, who's gonna keep kicking ass. And, and, and I hope that somebody gets some balls in the Sky Sports, BET, and fucking put his next fight on there because that man deserves it. God bless everybody. Follow True School Sports. Follow BT. We got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, content coming out here. Go to the channel. Support the channel. And thank you guys. God bless all the UK fans. God bless all the Scottish fans. God bless Josh Taylor. God bless everybody. Even Sky Sports and BET. I'm just pissed off at the fact that they didn't do what they were supposed to do. Take care, guys. This is from Pops True School Sports.